Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So I had an original concept for this video that I wanted to share with you, but things went like they went crazy and sideways. The good thing is, I think there's something still very worthwhile to share with you. So here's the deal. I had this Milwaukee M12 battery pack that powered M12 tools, like a ton of Milwaukee tools. And one of the cells in here, I believe, is dead, so the pack wouldn't charge anymore. It was totally toast. So my idea was to replace the cells in this Milwaukee battery pack with three of these right here. Now these batteries actually are the same voltage as these. This is 3.7 volts, but these batteries have twice the capacity. This is a 3.4 amp hour battery versus the 1.5 amp hour batteries in here. So the idea is if I put three of these into here, I should double the amount of power I can have in this pack. Well, what went wrong was my soldering was really Really horrible. I did get it done, but I don't want to show you that as an example of how to do it. In fact, I'm going to make a follow-up video where I show you the best and right way to do it. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get back to what I have in mind here for today. I basically have the retrofitted battery pack right here. This has three brand new 18650 cells in it. This battery pack should in fact have twice the amount of power as a stock Milwaukee M12 battery pack right here. So why don't we go Go outside and find out if this little eager beaver right here gets more power from the new battery pack or if it don't make a difference. So let's start with the Milwaukee stock M12 battery. It is fully charged and ready to go. That's it guys, just quit. See our battery level is right there. All right guys, so let's test the pack with the new cells in it. Here we go. First. Yep, we've got full power. Here we go. We're out of juice, guys. So we definitely had to chalk that up as a win for the stock Milwaukee battery. It made 13 cuts. Here's the modified battery. It only made eight. So do I feel like this effort was a fail? Absolutely not. What I think failed is I fell into the trap of buying cheap Amazon cells and I got burned. So guys, this ain't the end for me. No way. I'm actually going to go out and get some new cells. I'm going to make sure they're brand name. They're going to have high amp hours. And of course, they're going to have a higher discharge rate and they're going to be brand name. So I know I'm going to get better performance. So stay tuned for the follow up video. It's coming really shortly. I'm going to show you the proper way to put together one of these packs. All all the pieces you'll need. I'll have links to all that. And of course, the better batteries. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content, and make sure you stick around to the follow-up of this video where I actually make things work. <laughs>